Hey everybody, Mike the Wine Guy here again in part two of our series, uh, five part series about wine and uh, how to enjoy wine a little bit more and peeling back the layers of what some of the mysteries people think are mysteries. You know, why do people, uh, you know, look at wine like this? Why do they swirl and why do they sniff it? So today we're going to talk about the swirl. So that's the second step in this. First thing we did, just to recap, is we pour it and we look at it to see about clarity intensity, density, things like that. So the next step is to swirl the wine. Now some of you might be a little uh, new at this, so you can actually set the, set the glass down, just hold it at the base, and just start slowly sort of swirling it. You'll notice that it swirls around, or as you get better, you can just swirl it. The key too also, and I notice a lot of people do this, they pour way too much wine in their glass. So you'll see me always pouring small amounts, one reason is I just like to swirl it, and the other reason is I like to try a bunch of different wines so I don't have to finish a whole glass of wine. I can just enjoy this much and move on to another wine. So start off with a little bit of wine and swirl it. Now why do you swirl it? Um, really it's to put oxygen and air into the wine so that it releases. Imagine this wine has been in a barrel, then it's been in a bottle for years potentially, and it's sort of close down. I call it like a genie in a bottle. This sort of lets it stretch open a little bit and sort of open it up and so you can really smell the aromatics of it. So one of the things that we're going to do is release these uh, polyphenols that are in the wine. That's a little bit of a big word, but basically the alcohol. It'll just pop and you'll be able to smell it. Now, the scenting and the smelling is going to be on our next one, but I'm just going to give you a little pre cursor to the next uh, series of uh, the next video and the reason that we do this is because we want to smell it and what, we've, what we're doing when we smell it is we're trying to identify certain characteristics that that particular wine has, the certain quality of flavors and it engages our brain to think about the scent so that we can fully enjoy the taste and the flavor because our tongue only has four, uh, well five if you want to call, call it, but basically four flavors that we can taste, salt, sweet, bitter and sour and then there's the four, a fifth one called umami which we'll go into in another series but but basically those are the only four things your tongue can taste so when you smell the wine uh, you want that allows you to recognize some things that are familiar to you maybe you smell strawberries maybe you smell cherry maybe you smell oak um, so in this uh, swirling what what that does is it opens the wine up and allows those scents to come up so swirling is something that you can practice. I'd start off just practicing with some water and so you don't spill it and make a mess. Uh, but um, it's, it's a fun thing and you'll find that once you get into it too, you're probably going to be swirling everything from uh, you know, your, uh, <laughs> your coffee and, and tea to your, uh, to your milk in, in, in the morning for breakfast. But anyway, uh, that's my second of the series. So we've covered sight and now we've covered swirling and so next time uh, when you check your email, you're going to have a nice new video that carries on with the five S's. So until next time, cheers and be sure to check us out on MikeTheWineGuy.com.